so much to learn about It'll make you want to shout Blippi! Whoa! Oh, hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at where I'm at. Yeah, I am at Valley Auto in Tenino, Washington. This is where they work on vehicles. Whoa, do you see that truck up there? Whoa, it's so high up there, that's crazy. Whoa, so many cool machines in here, come on. Whoa, look at this big truck. Do you see how it's on the ground? Yeah, they're on the ground, but then they use these big things called lifts to go underneath and lift it up to the sky. So then the mechanics can work underneath the truck and car, so then they don't have to bend down or be uncomfortable. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at this. Whoa, this is so heavy. Wow, this is a battery. Yeah, most vehicles have batteries, so then it helps them turn on. Yeah, land also, turn on the radio. <laughs> and things like that. Yeah, batteries have electricity stored inside. Ooh, look at these. These are hose clamps. Whoa, there's a small one. And here is a big one. These are what goes around hoses and clamps them nice and tight. Hey, what shape are these? Yeah, these are circles. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? All right, let's put those back. Let's keep exploring. Whoa! Look at all of these. Do you see these? Wow. This right here, yeah, is a nut, washer, and a bolt. This is what you use to tighten things. Yeah, nice and close together. Like, say, if there is a piece of metal right here and another piece of metal, you could Tighten it nice and tight so then it doesn't slip and slide. <laughs> All right, let's put that back. Uh, <laughs> okay, woo, so cool. Whoa, this is a massive engine. That looks so powerful. Wow, so cool. Well, hey, let's see, oh, Look at this. Remember earlier how I said that the lift lifts up the truck so the mechanic can stand up nice and tall? Well, sometimes you might not have a lift and you need to get really low on the ground and work on the vehicle from the ground. Whoa, hey, whoa, wee, <laughs> look at me go. I'm a mechanic, wee. <laughs> Yeah, you can slide because it has wheels. Okay, all right, enough playing around. Let's get to work. Oh, hey, it's someone else. Who are you? Colton. Oh, nice to meet you, Colton. Well, what are you doing over there? Uh, getting ready to weld. Oh, weld? That's really cool. Hey, do you know what welding is? Yeah, welding's where you take two pieces of metal and apply some electricity, heat, some gas, and it becomes so hot, they come, become connected. Yeah, it's kind of like glue, but for metal. <laughs> well, Colton, will you show us how to do it? Yep, I just need to lift up the truck. All right, let's check it out. <laughs> Oh, do you see what they're doing? Yeah, there's, they're using those metal posts to go under the truck so then they can work underneath it safely so it doesn't fall on them. Okay, let's watch them weld.
looks like he has some safety gear. Check it out. <laughs> See these? Yeah, these are his gloves. It keeps his hands protected while he's welding. And this looks like his helmet. Yeah, and it has this really dark shade right here. So then he can look at what he's doing because it's too bright to look at without this. You definitely never want to look at what you're doing welding unless you have this. So if you ever see someone welding, do not look at that light, okay? Okay. Oh, here you go. <laughs> did such a great job welding. Hey, Colton, thank you so much for showing us how to weld. Yep, no problem. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's keep exploring. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa. This has been so much fun. Did you see when he was welding? It looked like fireworks. Whoa. Yeah, that was awesome. Ooh. Look at this yellow toolbox. Whoa, I think we should open it up and see what tools are inside. Whoa! Whoa! Look at these socket sets. Wow! That is so nicely organized. Whoa! Remember earlier? Yeah, we were talking about those nuts. Yeah, these sockets go over the nuts. And then you use a lever and then turn it. And then you can get it nice and tight. Yeah, that is really cool. Ooh, let's see what else is in here. I love tools. They're so much fun. Whoa, look. Yeah, a wrench. Yeah, you can also use these to tighten nuts. Great, 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 great. Oh, that is so cool. All right, let's put it away. Ooh, what else is in here? Whoa. Yeah, a crescent wrench. Whoa, we must have a customer. Someone else will get that. But hey, check it out, a crescent wrench. Looks like a mouth. Hello. Hello. <laughs> That's silly. Okay, well, oh, look at this. You know what this is? Yeah, it kind of looks like a hammer, doesn't it? but it's actually a rubber mallet. Watch this. Yeah! You can hit things with it. Yeah, you, uh, like a tire. Watch this. <laughs> I don't know what you would do that for, but it's fun. Whoa! Yeah, a vice right here? Yeah, you can put things in here. Turn this and see it closing. Yeah, keeps things held right here. So then you can work on it. Look. Yeah, looks like a fan. It looks like a fan. Yeah, this looks like a fan that goes in front of the radiator. Wow, I sure do love mechanic shops and tools. Hey. I think this is the perfect time for the tool song. Yeah! When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. The wrench tightens pipes going clang, clang. A hammer hits a nail going bang, bang, bang. A drill is making holes going zzz, zzz. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, 
working with tools. You hear all kinds of things. You hear thuds and squeaks, cracks and rings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear bangs and booms, clangs and zings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. Cutting wires with some pliers going snip, snip. Cutting paper with some scissors going clip, clip. When you're working with tools, you've got to be real safe by wearing gloves on your hands and goggles on your face. And boys and girls, when you're working with tools, always follow mom and dad's safety rules. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear thuds and squeaks, cracks and rings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear bangs and booms, clangs and zings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. Whoa! Check it out! Yeah, it looks like we have some big bolts. Whoa! And we have some big nuts. Whoa! Hey, what's this doing here? Do you know what this is? Yeah, it's a steering wheel. Ten and two. <laughs> Driving a car is so much fun. You'll get there. And you need to be very safe and always wear your seatbelt. But hey, in order to drive your car, you need to maintain your vehicle. Yeah, and that is why we're at the mechanic shop. Oh, <laughs> but hey, check these out. Whoa, this is the cylinder head. Whoa, there's so many parts to an engine, and this is just one of them. Oh, and over here, this is the exhaust manifold. Whoa. Yeah, like I said, there's a lot of parts to an engine, but this is where the engine is, and then the exhaust goes through all these pipes to the back of the vehicle. Yeah, and you've probably seen exhaust pipes before. Yeah. Well, hey, I have one last thing to show you right over here. The best part about mechanic shops is cleaning up at the end of the day, and all your hard work pays off. <laughs> well, this has been so much fun learning about tools with you today and welding and what it's like to be in a shop. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I -P -P -I. Flippy! Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye! Oh, hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at what I have here. Whoa, this is a scale. Yeah, you put one thing on this side and one thing on this side, or many things, and whatever way it tips will tell you what's heavier and what is lighter. Okay, let's try a really easy example. I'm going to take these off. What do you think? is heavier, and what do you think is lighter? A feather, <laughs> or a rock? Yeah, I bet, yeah, the rock is gonna be heavier than the feather, ready? Yeah, do you see how the rock is lower? Yeah, because this side is heavier. Okay, I have another idea, how about a bunch of these feathers. Whoa! Yeah! That's a lot of feathers! <laughs> Whoa! And the feathers are so colorful! And to make it even, we need to add the carrying case on this side too. Okay, now let's see if all these feathers weigh more or less than this rock. Ready? 
Oh, that one rock is heavier than all of these feathers. Whoa. Whoa. That is so cool. Okay, let me put that rock over there. Put this back up here. Wow. We have to stay nice and clean and organized because we have a lot of things to weigh here. Hey. All right. Hey, check these out. What kind of fruit are these? Do you know? Yeah. This one is an apple. And this one is an orange. Yum! <laughs> I love fruit. And I love vegetables. Okay, let's see. Huh, they weigh roughly the same. I wonder what one's gonna be heavier, what one's gonna be lighter. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, do you see that? Yeah. The apple is heavier. Wow. <laughs> and it's bigger. But that isn't always the case. Remember? Yeah. The feathers were so big. And then the rock was so small. But the feathers, yeah, were lighter than the rock. So it's all about density. Yeah, let's see here. Ooh, look at these. <laughs> wow, these are cubes. And they actually are pretty. Whoa! Light! <laughs> wow. See? Even one barely even tipped the scale. Okay, so let's go like this. Okay, there are four on that side. Actually, let's do three. <laughs> okay, now the same cubes on this side. Let's do five. What one do you think will be heavier? Yeah. You're right! Five cubes of the same size and same weight is heavier than three cubes of the same size and weight. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, all right, let's get back to weighing things. Okay, let's put these rocks over here. Let's gather up all the feathers. We need to pick up after ourselves. Perfect, put those right over there. <laughs> Although they're so cute and pretty. <laughs> okay, all right. Now we have some dinosaurs. <laughs> we have a T-Rex. <laughs> okay, you can stand right there. Well, oh, how about you just take a nap? Just like that. <laughs> and then we have a Triceratops. <laughs> Okay, let's see what toy weighs more. I don't know the actual dinosaur weight, but just for these toys. Yeah, this T-Rex is heavier than the Triceratops. But what if we added a Brontosaurus to it? All right, are you ready? These are definitely heavier. <laughs> okay, we'll put those aside. All right. Now we have an experiment. Okay, we have rice and we have water. So let's put the same amount of rice in a balloon compared to the water, the same amount. So let's do a quarter of a cup. And then we can see what one is heavier, which means which one is more dense because they're actually going to be roughly the the no they will be the the same size yeah because one quarter of a cup is volume perfect all right <laughs> sometimes it can be so confusing <laughs> okay all right one quarter of a cup make sure it's nice and what perfect Okay, oh, gotta set that down right here. Need to prep my balloon first. Perfect, there we go. Okay, gotta use the funnel or else it would be really dirty. <laughs> okay, here we go. One quarter cup. Let me tie it. Okay, now we'll do the water. All 
Alright. Okay, now we need one quarter of a cup of water. Whoa. I don't want to spill. Ready? Ah! Perfect! <laughs> okay. Stay nice and organized. Be sure to clean up. All right, now let me tie this. Okay, so we use the same amount of volume. One quarter cup of rice, one quarter cup of water. Okay, now we get to do the fun part. We get to put it on the scale and we get to see which one is more dense, which one is heavier. Ready? The blue was rice! Whoa! Rice is more dense than water! Whoa! Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey! Do you know what else is really heavy? Yeah! Construction vehicles are really heavy! Yeah, like this excavator or this front loader. Whoa! Huh. This excavator is actually heavier than this front loader toy. Whoa! <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Since we're talking about weight and machines are really, really, really heavy, let me think about a machine that is very heavy, low to the ground, and can push everything out of its way. Do you know what machine that is? Yeah, look at the big front blade on it. Yeah, that is a bulldozer. Hey, I think we should learn and watch the bulldozer video. <laughs> bulldozer, clearing the land. Bulldozer, pushing rubble and sand. Bulldozer, constructing the roads. Move over, it's about to roll. It's a yellow track. By breaking up rocks and digging in the dirt With the blade on the front and the claw on the back It can help you build a home just like that Whoa, it's on a roll Bulldozer And they can move through some rough terrain They can move all kinds of things Bulldozer Clearing the land Bulldozer Pushing rubble and sand Bulldozer Constructing the roads Move over, it's about to roll Bulldozer Clearing the land Bulldozer Pushing rubble and sand Bulldozer Constructing the roads It's a yellow machine Roll, roll on bulldozer Better move over, here comes the bulldozer It's a yellow machine Ring, ring! Alright, <laughs> put in the box, here we go! Go to the other side, dump them out! There we go! Two more blocks on this side! Hmm, let's see... Maybe the rock will make it heavy enough. Whoa! It for sure was heavy enough. Wow, that was so much fun learning about weight with you. And also, bulldozers. Wow, those machines are so heavy. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I! -P -P -I. Flippy! Good job! Alright! See you again! Bye bye <laughs>
<laughs> okay, I'm gonna clean up now. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Coming up, we're going to meet flamingos and some special animals called ambassador animals. Let's check them out. So much to learn about, it'll make you wanna shout, Blippi! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at where I'm at today. Today, I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. Have you ever been to a zoo? Yeah, they're so great. You can see big animals, small animals, even insects if you want. Yeah, I am so excited. Let's go. Whoa, we're in the back of a habitat. This is so cool. Whoa, look at this. Ooh. Looks like some animal snacks. Yum! <laughs> okay, I'll put that down right there. Wow, and this is this animal's real food. Yeah, this is what they eat on the daily. Hey, check it out. See this right here? Yeah, you just put some powder in right there, swirl it around, and this is what this animal loves to eat every day. Okay, let me put this back right here. But hey, did you see what we saw right here? Whoa, looks like a feather. This must come from the animal that's in this habitat. Hmm, yeah, feather. Birds have feathers. And do you see? It's the color pink. Whoa, do you know what animal, bird, is the color pink? Okay, let me set this down right here. <laughs> and then let's grab the snacks and let's go see if we can find the flamingos. Oh, hey, it's John. Hey. Oh, hi, Blippi. How are you? Good. Welcome to our flamingo exhibit. Thank you. What are you doing? I'm um, just raking up the feathers. Oh. And these are our flamingos. Oh, do you see the flamingos? Wow. Do you mind if I get a closer look at them? No, go ahead. All right. Oh, hey, let's take a closer look at the flamingos. Oh, hello, flamingos. Hey, wow, these flamingos are so pretty. Whoa, did you know that when flamingos are born, they're the color white? Yeah, gray, yeah, whitish gray. And then when they get older, they turn the color pink because the food that they eat has a lot of pink in it. Whoa, that is so cool. And you see how tall their legs are? Whoa, they're so long. An adult flamingo, the legs are taller than the whole rest of the body. Wow, that is so crazy. Hey, and do you see how their legs are bending backwards? Yeah, us humans, our legs bend forward. But then, flamingos, their legs bend backwards. And you're probably like, whoa, those are some flexible knees. <laughs> but hey, let me tell you a really cool fact. Do you see that little area right in the center of their legs? Yeah, it looks like their knee. That is actually the flamingo's ankle. Whoa, that's crazy. Well, hey, I think we should throw some of these snacks in the water and see if the flamingos come. Okay. <laughs> All right, here you go. It's the Animal Ambassador Show. This place is awesome! Hey, what's your name? I'm Susie. Oh, nice to meet you. And who is this? This is Harry. And Harry is a striped skunk. Wow, striped skunk? Yeah, I see black and white. Why are they striped like that? Well, those stripes allow them to alert any predators in the area that he is a skunk. And if they've been around a skunk before, they definitely would not want to get sprayed again. Oh, yeah. Wait, you said spray. Is that the smell that you sometimes smell when you're driving? You've got it, yeah. It's a really strong smell, and you can't mistake it if you've smelled it before. 
And you definitely can't mistake it if you've been sprayed. <laughs> yeah. So why do they spray again? It's their way of defending themselves. So if a skunk feels threatened, the first thing that Harry might do is do some forward charges or some handstands. And that says, hey, don't mess with me. More bad things are coming. And if the animal proceeds to come forward, they might get sprayed. Oh, so it sounds like Harry's a gym gymnast with its handstands. That's funny. What's Harry eating? Today he is eating insects. He loves bugs, he loves vegetables, fruit. He even eats meat too. Wow, Harry is so cool. I love skunks. <laughs> This is Eduardo. Hello, Eduardo. Whoa. Eduardo is a three-banded armadillo. Whoa. And it looks like he's eating some insects. Those look so yummy for him. <laughs> I actually got permission to go inside, but he's actually probably going to think my shoes are really cool because they smell. So let me go inside and see if he is curious. Hello. Hey, how are you? Whoa, do you see him? Whoa, he has a very hard shell. Yeah, three banded armadillos are ones that can go all the way in a ball. But he's not doing that right now because that is a defensive mechanism. Yeah, he's actually really comfortable right now. <laughs> hey, do you see how he's just sniffing around? Oh, he is so cute! And his fingernails are so long, or toenails. And he has some cute little hairs coming out the bottom. <laughs> Whoa, look at him go! Whoa, check it out! Look, this is a hawk! But wait a second, who are you? My name is Lindsay. I am an ambassador animal keeper. Wow, what, what's the name of this hawk? This is Cisco. He is a 32-year-old Paris's hawk. Wow, Cisco is so pretty. Wow, I love the wings. Does it have big wings or thin or small? Or? He has big, broad wings that are good for soaring, but not very good for diving fast. Oh, wow. Do they live together or alone? Harris's hawks are very special because they live in family groups with other hawks. Most birds of prey live by themselves. Oh, wow. And I like Cisco's eyes. What's unique about them? Harris's hawks and other birds of prey have really great eyesight. That is so cool. And I like its beak. Look at it. It's like, it looks so sharp. Can I take a closer look at it? Sure. Whoa. Check out Cisco. Wow. Whoa, so majestic. Wow. Hey, Cisco. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Another amazing animal. Whoa. This is a burrowing owl. Whoa. What's his name? This is Papu. Oh, nice to meet you, Papu. I'm Flippy. Do you see Papu's eyes? They're so big and yellow. Wow, does that mean they can see good? Owls have excellent eyesight. Wow. And Papu is so small. Is it a little baby? No, Papu is full grown. Whoa. Is it like other owls where they go out at night and look for food? So other owls are nocturnal, which means they're awake at night, but Papu is diurnal. He's awake during the day. Whoa, that is so cool. Papu is so cute. Wow, I just want to pet him. He's so cute, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> Can I take a closer look? Sure. Check it out. This is a Nahi. Yeah, she is so pretty. Wow, do you see her tongue poking out? Yeah, 
She pushes her tongue out of her mouth every now and then to smell. Isn't that crazy? We use our nose to smell, but she uses her tongue to smell. Yeah. And she is a red tail boa constrictor. Whoa. Look at her just wrapped up in a tree like this, all comfortable. Whoa. Hello. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I hope she is having a great day. Whoa, she is so big. Right now, she is about seven feet tall. Yeah, that's about 2.3 meters long. Whoa, but she actually gets a lot bigger. She'll even get bigger than this. Whoa, yeah. She can get about 12 feet tall. That's about four meters long. Whoa, that is so cool. <laughs> Wow, check it out. This is Blue, and Blue is a blue tongued skink. <laughs> she looks like a snake, doesn't she? Yeah, a snake with legs. <laughs> but she's not. She's actually a lizard. Wow, she is so cool looking. Whoa, do you see her tongue? Yeah, it's the color blue. That makes sense. I bet predators think that that tongue could be poisonous. Yeah. Whoa, and do you see her ears? Wow, I bet she can hear really good. <laughs> Whoa, geez, how are you? Are you having a good day? <laughs> Whoa. Wow, look, this is Tut and this is Cairo. Whoa, look at them, hey! They are Egyptian tortoises. Yeah, when I hear tortoise, I think of a big turtle. But these are actually full size. Whoa, where are you two going? I wonder if they're hungry. <laughs> they actually live in the desert. Yeah, whoa, that makes sense. Because Egyptian tortoises. Whoa, look, they're following each other. Whoa, that looks fun. <laughs> Did you see that? That was a cute penguin! Whoa! Hasn't this been so much fun at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington today? Yeah! I had a lot of fun seeing all these great animals. Hey, what's your favorite animal? Whoa! What a great animal! Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. It's me, Blippi, and that was really fun riding a bike with you. Whew, I was riding really fast because <laughs> I was so excited to see you today. But you know, sometimes I ride really slow when I'm really tired. <laughs> hey, can you think of any animals or things that go really fast? <laughs> I like that. I think I can think of some too. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> You could be really fast like a rocket ship. <laughs> or bike a horse. Ooh. <laughs> that was pretty silly being a horse. Can you think of anything that goes really slow? <laughs> Ooh, okay, let's keep thinking. Whoa. You know what goes really slow? A Ferris wheel. Ooh. <laughs> and a snail. How do you know if something moves really fast or really slow? Whoa. Hmm. Oh, I 
volcano, you time it. Yeah, you use a clock to see how long it takes for something to happen. And I know the perfect place for you and I to figure out how things go really fast and really slow. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. Let's go. I'll see you there. I'll race ya. <laughs> Hey, it's me, Blippi. Whoa, and look at that. It's a really big ropes course. <laughs> yeah. Well, I am so excited because today at Nona Adventure Park in Orlando, Florida, you and I get to go to the very top. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be so much fun. Come on. we start the ropes course, I think it's a really good idea to learn about all the right equipment to use and to get in a little practice. This right here, this is the harness. And it's really important to put the harness on. So if you're doing the ropes course and you fall off, the harness will get you. Woo! <laughs> That'll be fun. Okay, so we'll put this harness on kind of like a belt. Put in our left leg, woo! And then our right leg and do the harness dance. <laughs> yeah, good job. And now you just tighten the harness like this, just like a belt. Now the next part of safety equipment we don't want to forget about are the clips. The clips are going to help us clip onto the ropes. Yeah, so we'll take this loop and we'll put it through the clips. Yeah, and now we're all ready to start practicing. <laughs> hey, I think it's time to go on the ropes course. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, that's pretty high up. Maybe it's a better idea to start off with something a little lower to the ground first, and then we'll do that next. Come on. Whoa, look at this place. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Look at all these cool stools <laughs> and ropes. Yeah, they're all different colors. Do you know what colors all these ropes are? Yeah, this is the color red. We have the color black. Ooh, <laughs> and this one's one of my favorite. The color blue, <laughs> yeah. Whoa, all of these different obstacles that I'm gonna have to walk on look a little bit wobbly. Whoa. <laughs> That's okay. You and I can use all of our balance to stay nice and upright so we won't fall. <laughs> okay, we're all ready to go on the ropes course. Yeah! one has a bunch of fossils for feet for little steps to step on. <laughs> Boing, woo, wee, woo. <laughs> Whoa, this one's really bouncy. Let's keep going. Come on. We've done such a good job that we can try the one all the way at the top. Let's go. This is gonna be so much fun. Wow, that was really tiring, 
but I'm excited for another one. Oh, hey, look, it's my really good friend. Hey, Jake. Hey, Buffy. Did you know that Jake is a pro athlete? Yeah. <laughs> He's really good at all kinds of sports and really cool things like ropes courses. <laughs> yeah. So is it really hard being a pro athlete? It is, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> That's cool. I bet you have to eat a lot of really healthy, yummy vegetables. <laughs> vegetables are important. One of my favorite foods is Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts? Ooh, one of my favorite foods is broccoli. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you have a favorite food that you like to eat? <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty yummy food. <laughs> hmm. Well, this has been really fun doing this first rubs course, but I think I'm ready to try the one way up there. Whoa! <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. I got a timer, we can time it if you want. Yeah, that's a great idea. How about Jake and I time doing the ropes course and see who wins? It'll be a flippy competition! <laughs> yeah! Okay, so who should go first? Why don't you go for it? Okay, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go first while Jake times me, and then he'll go next. Come on! I did it! That was so much fun! That was really fast, that was awesome. Whoa, it was really tricky up there, clipping into all the different parts, and it took a lot of balance. <laughs> it was so much fun, I almost made a full circle. Well, actually, this ropes course is not a circle, because it has six sides. Hey, do you know what a six-sided shape is called? <laughs> yeah, that's right, it's called a hexagon. Woo! <laughs> Well, that was really fun, but Jake, I think it's your time to go up to the top. All right, here's the timer. Okay, I got the timer. On your mark, get set, and go! <laughs> I can't wait to see how fast Jake can do the ropes course.
Jake, that was so fast. <laughs> you're really fast, and it must be because you're a pro athlete and practice a lot. <laughs> Great job, you're the winner. <laughs> yeah. Bye, Jake. See you, Blippi. Woo. <laughs> hey. I have a really good idea. How about you and I race? Okay, get the time on the clock started. Let's race! Hey, I'm over here! Hello! <laughs> over here! Woo! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Looks like you found me! Okay, here we go! Down the slide! Woo! Uh-oh! Looks like you beat me! <laughs> that was really fun! <laughs> Good job racing with me! Whoa! Look over here! Hey! You see what it says? Curiosity Corner! <laughs> it looks like it's time for the Curiosity Corner! <laughs> yeah! I am so excited because these are so much fun! I can't wait to find out what we're going to build together! Oh! Look! At the clock! Hey! I bet you and I get to build a clock today! <laughs> yeah! Let's get started. Come on. Whoa, <laughs> look. We're here at the Curiosity Corner. <laughs> and it looks like we're gonna make an awesome clock. <laughs> okay, well first, what do we need to make a clock? Hmm, oh, I know, a circle. Whoa, it looks like this paper plate is gonna be a great circle. Okay, and we're gonna need a pen because clocks have numbers. Yeah, hmm, 12 numbers. So first, we want to put the numbers down. And a good way to write down the numbers so they're all in the right space is to start at the top. The top of a clock has the number 12. <laughs> hmm. The bottom of the clock has the number 6. <laughs> and then to the right of the clock, we yeah, have the number three. And to the left of the clock, we have the number nine. <laughs> well, there's a couple more numbers on a clock, so I'm gonna fill in the rest. <laughs> Whoa, look! We have all the numbers of the clock. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. But I think our clock is still missing some. We have the numbers, but what points to the numbers? Oh yeah, hands, <laughs> hands. A clock has two hands, and we have some really cool paper here. My favorite colors, orange and blue. And all you need to do is cut out little arrows. Okay, you take our little arrows, and we're gonna put them on the clock, then we just pin them in. Now that we've finished our clock, let's see if we can tell some time. Hmm. Well, we have our big hand and our little hand. What does three o'clock look like? Yeah, just like that. A little hand is on the three. Hmm. What does six o'clock look like? The little hand, we move that again, and it's on the six. Hmm. I wonder what nine o'clock looks like. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's what nine o'clock looks like. A little hand is on the nine, big hand is on the 12. <laughs> that was so much fun telling time with you. <laughs> Yay! Hello, <laughs> whoa. These circles are the same shape as a clock. And that gave me a really good idea. <laughs> Come on. 
<laughs> Whoa! I think you and I should do a really fun dance. <laughs> Just like a clock. We'll use the tick-tock of the clock for a really cool beat and the hands of a clock, woo, <laughs> for some sweet dance moves. <laughs> yeah! Okay, step one, we're gonna make our hands like this. Three o'clock, we'll move them to six o'clock, then back to three o'clock, and then to nine o'clock. <laughs> and step number two is have lots of fun and be really silly. <laughs> I'm so excited to dance together. Let's go! <laughs> What time is it? Three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock, midnight, cuckoo, midnight, cuckoo, midnight, cuckoo. Double time. Tickety tickety tock, moving around the clock. Tickety tickety tock, doing the tick tock rock. Tickety tickety tock, moving around the clock. Tickety tickety tock, doing the tick tock rock. <laughs> I had so much fun with you today. <laughs> we learned about all kinds of things, like going slow means it will take a really long time, and going fast won't take much time at all. <laughs> it was also really fun learning about time and clocks, and that clocks have two hands and 12 numbers. <laughs> yeah! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> yeah. E-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you real soon. I'm going to go play in the ball pit. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Bye-bye! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at what's behind me. Whoa, a really cool sign. What does it say? SciCart International Speedway. <gasps> yeah! Today, I'm at SciCart International Speedway in Tukwila, Washington. Hey, and check out that and that. What are those? Yeah, those are go-karts. Today, you and I are gonna learn and drive some go-karts. Whoa, did you see those? Those were flags. Yep, and when you're racing go-karts, it's very important to listen to the flagger. Yeah, because the go-kart engines are so loud, they probably can't yell at you. And through the helmet, you can't hear them. So you can communicate with colored flags. Let's learn about them. Whoa, what color is this flag? Yeah, that flag is the color green. And this means it's the start of the race. As soon as that green flag drops, it's go time. <laughs> Whoa, look at this flag. Yeah, this flag is the color yellow. Yeah. And the yellow flag, when you see the flagger, that means to slow down. Yeah, do not pass. That might mean that there's a little problem on the track. So be very careful. It means caution. Whoa, look at this flag. Wow, yeah, the color red. Just like a stop sign or a stoplight, it means stop immediately. There might be a big problem on the track. Maybe a couple carts spun out and they're blocking the track. Yeah, who knows? This flag just means to stop when you see it. Oh, another flag. Whoa, what color flag is this? Yeah, one of my two favorite colors. <laughs> this is the blue flag. And when you see the flagger moving it up, that means move over, let others pass. Yeah, maybe I'll be going really slow. And that means if I see the blue one, I'm gonna move over to let others pass. Yeah, it's really important to be safe on the track. Oh, look 
look at this one. Black flag. You are out of the race. Oh no, that doesn't sound like fun. Yeah, you might get this if you did something you shouldn't have, like maybe bumped people. Yeah, you're not supposed to bump during go-karts. These aren't bumper cars, they're go-karts. <laughs> oh, yeah, the white flag. That means one lap remaining. Oh, you know what this means. Give it some gas and go for the win. <laughs> and the last flag. Yep, the black and white checkered flag. That means the race is over and that you probably won. <laughs> Yeah, it's a go-kart. <laughs> yeah, we're learning about go-karts. Hey, let's learn the parts of a go-kart. Whoa, this thing is so awesome. Hey, do you know what this is called? Yeah, this is where you sit. <laughs> yeah, and this is called a seat. Whoa, look at what I'm holding. <laughs> yeah, this is the steering wheel. Pretty cool, huh? This is how you turn left and you turn right. Yeah! Whee! Just like steering a car or a truck. Yeah, go-karts also have a steering wheel. Look at what my feet are pushing on. Yeah, this. See the red? That is the brake pedal. Yeah, if you push down on that, this is gonna stop the go-kart. And you see this one over here? What color is this one? Yeah, that's the color green. And you know what green means? Green means go! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, check this out. Yeah, one great thing about go-karts is they're nice and safe because they have <laughs> a seatbelt. You have to remember to always wear your seatbelt. Yeah. And then, obviously, we'll be wearing a helmet, too. Whoa, look at right here. Right in the center, this is where you fill up the go-kart with fuel. This go-kart takes gas. Let's open it up. Whoa, it's nice and full in there. I think it's ready to ride. So hey, have you ever seen the engine of a go-kart? Come check it out. All right. Wow. Look at this. So let's pull off the cover. Whoa. Look at the engine of the go-kart. Whoa. This is what creates the power. The gas goes in here, mixes with air, and then there's a spark from a spark plug, and then power is created. <laughs> wow. What a cool machine. I think it is time to ride the go-kart. Whoa, check out all of these go-karts. I am so excited to beat the lap record. <laughs> Whoa, check them out. Whoa, do you see all of these go-karts? Yeah, all of these go-karts have a red number plate. Oh, that's so cool. Whoa, and look at all of these go-karts. All of these go-karts have a black number plate. Whoa, there's so many numbers, come on. Whoa, look at this number. What number is this? There's a one and a six. Yeah, 16, <laughs> yeah. Whoa, two of the same number. And both of the numbers are two. Two, two. What number is that? Yeah, 22. Good job. Hey, I have a simple math equation for you. Let's see. What is one plus two? One plus two. One, two. One, two, three. Yeah, the number three. <laughs> yeah, these go-karts look so much fun. Hey, let's pick one at the front 
and then let's go for a ride. Hmm, let's see. How about this one? All right, let's hop in. <laughs> whoa, 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 not quite yet. You need to be very safe while you ride a go-kart. Let's go pick out a helmet. all of these helmets we can choose from. Whoa, I am so excited. Whoa. Check out this helmet. Yeah, this helmet looks so cool. It's the color green, black, white, whoa, and shiny silver. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Ooh, looks like we have one of my two favorite colors. Yeah, a blue helmet. Wow, this looks like a cool helmet. Whoa, look at this helmet. Yeah, what color helmet is this? Yeah, the color pink. <laughs> I like this helmet. Helmets are really important to keep your head nice and safe while we're out go-karting. <laughs> Can't forget about the color red. Whoa, look at this. And the last color helmet that we have is the color yellow. Yeah, that's a nice color. Kinda reminds me of the color of the sun, huh? Yeah. Man, there are so many colors of helmets here. Hmm, what color helmet would you pick? Oh, I love that color. Hmm, but I need a helmet right now. I have an idea. Why don't I use some of my own safety equipment? Pants! Yeah! Woohoo! Gloves! Whoa! Yeah! Free! Helmet! Yeah! Now I'm ready to race! Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go! Alright, I think I am ready. <sighs> Sit in the go-kart. Ooh, safety first. We have to wear our helmet, and we need to make sure we're buckled up. All right, Blippi, you look completely ready to go. But the track record, 23.3. You think you can beat that? <sighs> I've never been more ready in my life. Sidecart International Speedway in Tukwila, Washington. Woohoo! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B L I P P I. Flippy! Good job! <laughs> all right, <laughs> see you again. Bye bye! Yeah! 
Today, we're at Leavenworth Ski Hill in Leavenworth, Washington. <laughs> it is a winter wonderland today, and you and I are gonna have some fun in the snow. Let's go! Whoa! That was so much fun! Whoa! Did you see what I just did? Yeah, I rode this inner tube down that hill. But that hill wasn't that big. But hey, here we have a bigger hill and we have a machine to tow you up to the hill. So then you don't have to walk all the way up there. I'll show you that soon. But first, this is an inner tube. Whoa, this inner tube has a red cover on it. Whoa, it protects the inner tube. The actual inner tube is black and rubber on the inside. See? And then there's an inner tube leash. And this ring is what the hook hooks onto. That then it tows you up to the top of the hill. Whoa! Let's go check it out. Okay, check it out. So this machine, yeah, there's cables there, there's gears. Check out the gears. Oh, do you see those gears? It's spinning around. And that is what is providing all its strength and power for these hooks right there to tow the tube and the person to the top of the hill. All right, let's hook one up and then we'll watch the inner tube go. Whoa! All right, I have a game to play. Let's count how many tubes we see, all right? One! Two, three, four tubes. Alrighty, good job. We just counted to four together. Now, I have another game. This one's pretty simple. What shape is this inner tube? Hmm, it's not a square. Is it a triangle? No, it's the same shape as a tire. Yeah, it's a circle. Whoa! Good job. <laughs> hey, check it out. Look at what this is. This is a black rubber mat. It's really heavy. Ugh. And this is a gray carpet. Yeah, just like maybe carpet that you might have at home. Yeah, these mats and carpets are placed on the inner tube path to help slow you down. Because if not, maybe you'd go too fast and go off a big jump. <laughs> oh, come on. All right, here I go. Whoa! How fast I went! That was awesome! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! What a cool machine this is! The great thing about ski hills are they have really cool machines to maintain the land! Whoa! Check it out! Wow! Do you see this? 
Yeah, this is a track. Yeah, this vehicle has tracks. Interesting. Most vehicles have wheels and tires, but not this one. This one has tracks, so then it can dig into the snow and then it won't slip and slide. <laughs> Let's check it out. Check it out. Do you see what I'm doing? Yeah, I'm riding a bike. Isn't this weird? I'm riding a bike on snow. Yeah, normally you ride a bike on concrete and dirt and asphalt, but check this out. Do you see this bike's tires? Yeah, they're so big and wide. Whoa. That is way wider than a normal bike tire. Yeah, these tires are called fat tires. So then they can grip more snow. So then you don't slip and slide. Wow, this bike has some good tread. Let's roll. This is snow, Ooh, and it's really cold. Now that it's so cold outside, put on your hats and gloves, and sip some nice warm cocoa from a mug. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> now that it's snowing outside, everyone's having fun. Let's take the snowboard
This has been so much fun playing in the snow with you today. Wow, I sure do love the seasons. Yep, and wintertime is such a great time of the year. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I P-P-I Blippi! Good job! Alright, see you again! Bye bye Hello! It's me, Blippi! And today, I'm at PD Bakery in Seattle, Washington! Whoa! Look at this place! Whoa! It's so cool! Yeah, we're in the back. Yeah, this is called a kitchen! Oh! And look at what it is! Wow! Look at it! <laughs> wow! This is an apron! Ooh, check it out! Look at those flowers! Yeah! This apron is going to help keep me nice and clean when I bake! Yep, I sure ate a lot of vegetables today. Yep, and now that I ate a bunch of healthy food, we can have something yummy and sweet! I am so excited! <laughs> Let's go! Wow, look at this place. Whoa, there's so many cool things. Yeah, like a measuring cup. Yeah, you can put things in there and then know how much of an ingredient you have exactly in this measuring cup. Whoa, or a giant spoon. Whoa, you can stir a lot of stuff with that. Whoa, whoa, and look at this. Yeah. A spatula! Boing! <laughs> That's so cool! Okay, let's set it right there for now. Whoa! Looks like we have some vinegar! Yum! <laughs> okay, there we go! Wow, come on! Whoa! A giant sink! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> this is where I clean a lot of dishes! Woohoo! <laughs> oh, speaking of cleaning dishes. Whoa! Hello! Look! This is a dishwasher! You put a lot of dirty dishes right here, and then you close it down. <laughs> yeah! That is awesome! Whoa! Whoa! Check it out! This is a stove top. Whoa, you can cook so much food right here? Whoa, there's so many stove tops. Whoa, do you see the little fire right there? Yeah, this is not a toy. You need to be very careful when you're cooking. <laughs> Whoa, yum! Yeah! Look at these sweet treats. Wow. These are macarons, and they look so yummy! Look at this one! This one is the color red. Whoa! Looks like we have some green, and some blue, and some orange. Whoa! Look! I'll grab an orange and a blue. <laughs> My two favorite colors! Ah! Oh, I'll eat these later. <laughs> Whoa, we have some black sesame cookies. Yum! Woo! And some ube cookies. Yum! Check these out. Open these up. Wow. What color is that? Yeah, the color purple. Yeah, there's no food coloring in this. That, yeah, that is the color of the food that was added into this cookie. That is so cool! <laughs> okay, we'll put that right there for me to eat later. <laughs> Whoa! Look at these cute things! Looks like... What animal is that? Yeah! Moo! Moo! Yeah! A cow! Woo! A vanilla cake? Yeah! Blippy party cake! Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, Flippy, yeah, and a triple chocolate cake, 
That looks so yummy! Well, hey, maybe you and I can cook and bake some of this. Yeah, how about today we make some macarons? Yeah! Whoa, check it out! I'm washing my hands and I'm scrubbing them for 20 seconds. Yeah, do you know how long 20 seconds is? Yeah, it's about the same length as when you sing the ABCs. Will you sing with me? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Hey, there we go. <laughs> okay, let's rinse them all off. Wow, they're nice and clean now. <laughs> okay, perfect. Shut off the water. Oh, wow. And now I'm ready to make some delicious treats. <laughs> oh, hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Jennifer. I'm the baker for Fanny Bakery. Whoa, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Are these the ingredients? Yeah, these are some ingredients for some macarons. Ooh, well what do we have here? Well first we have eggs, and we have almond flour, we have sugar, and we have an important ingredient called salt. And when you eat it, it's really salty, but when you put it in desserts, it actually makes it sweeter and tastier. Ooh, that sounds so yummy! And you said almond flour. Why are we using that rather than all-purpose flour? So almond flour is special because when you put it in macarons, it makes it less sticky than flour and makes it really light. Wow, that is so cool. Well, hey, do you mind if I mix all these ingredients? Yeah, how about you throw all the ingredients into a bowl and throw it into the mixer, and I'll go get the oven ready. Okay. Woohoo! All right, let's mix all the ingredients together, and then we'll put it in the mixer. <laughs> all right. First, let's uh, add the salt. Perfect. And then we'll add the sugar. Then, the almond flour. Whoa! Hey, check it out! A small bowl, medium, and large. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. <laughs> and for the eggs. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> I probably have to break them open. All right, here we go. Now, I'm gonna go put it in the mixer. Yeah! Whoa! Hey, check it out! This is a massive mixing machine! Whoa! Look how big it is! There's a giant whisk right here. Wow! Looks like there's a green on button, a red stop button, and a big bowl for me to add all the ingredients. All right, here we go. Pour it in. Looks like we already made some earlier. Yeah, this is gonna be a big batch. Whoa. <laughs> all right, now that all the ingredients are in there, we need to make sure that the cover is closed. We need to raise up the bowl. There we go. And now, we need to turn this to the on position. There we go. And we'll push the green start button in three, two, one. Yeah! Look at it mix. Whoa. The batter is finished. Whoa, this is a big bowl. Okay, the next step that we need to do, yeah, is take some of this batter and put it inside these piping bags. Yeah, what shape is this piping bag? Oh, yeah, it looks like a triangle. Perfect. And do you see how you open it up? Yeah. That's where you put all the batter. But 
hey, check it out. Yeah, we have some batter already in a piping bag. Woohoohoo! <laughs> okay, Jennifer, now that we have the batter in the piping bags, what do we do now? Well, first we need to cut the bag. Okay. And Perfect. we're gonna make some cow macarons. Oh! To do that, first, you're going to need one big circle. Okay. We're gonna make cow macarons. And we need a big circle for, is that the head? That's gonna be the head, yeah. Okay. And then we need two small circles on the top for its ears. Okay. That is not how I want to <laughs> That's funny. That's okay. Okay, I see it. Yeah, the head and then two ears. Here, let me try. All right. There we go. Yeah, it's just like that. And then one ear, two ears. <laughs> Perfect. That's going to be one great cow. <laughs> okay, do we fill it up now? Yeah, let's fill up the whole pan. All right, let's do it. So much fun! <laughs> yeah, now that we're done, why don't you throw them into the oven for 20 minutes and I'll get the buttercream ready. Okay! Alright, so I need to throw these in the oven for 20 minutes! Whoa! Alright, so I'm gonna put on these safety gloves. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Here we go! Wow! I use my safety gloves because ovens are not a toy. You need to be very careful. Okay, what did Jennifer say? She said 20 minutes. Oh, that's a long time. But wait, but wait a second. You know what I like to do when I wait? Yeah, I like to dance. Woohoo! means that they're probably done. <laughs> yeah! Let's open it up and then see the macrons. <laughs> Whoa! Woohoo! That is hot! Whoa! And they look so yummy! Wow! Check it out! Now it's time to decorate. Looks like so much fun. Hey, can I try? Sure, Blippi. We want to give it a try. Sure. Okay. Uh, well, looks like we have three colors here. We have black, and then uh, looks like we have white, and then looks like we have the color pink. Let's see. What are we making? Oh yeah. Remember these from earlier? Yeah, a cow. A cute cow. Moo. Yeah, it has two eyes, has two ears, has some spots, and a really cute nose. <laughs> okay, let's put that down right here. I'm gonna start with the black. All right, looks like do two eyes. And we need to do the spots. Cute little hair thing on top. <laughs> okay, so now let me move to the color pink. <laughs> All right, looks like pink. 
we put it on the ears. And it's the base for the nose. Last but not least, the color white. <laughs> and we just put a little, uh-oh, I put a little too much. But that's okay. There we go. <laughs> How does it look? Yeah, does that look like a cow? Moo! Moo! <laughs> wow, that looks so good. <laughs> All right, let's keep on decorating. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, a blippy party cake. Yum. <laughs> Whoa, what are these? Yeah, macarons. Yum, they're so tasty. What is this though? Yeah, does it look like my bow tie? Yeah, it's an orange blippy macron bow tie. It looks so tasty, doesn't it? Yeah! Well, hey, check this out. I have two things of icing. My two favorite colors, blue and orange. And check it out. I have a blippy macron that's empty. No colors at all. So maybe, just maybe, we can use some of this icing to decorate it. So my normal bow tie is orange, but I'm actually gonna use some blue too. So let's just squirt some out. Whoa, that looks cool. Let's do a big dot there. Do a big dot there. How about one right there? Oh, and one way over there. Whoa! That doesn't look like my bow tie, does it? No, that's okay though. Sometimes when you're being creative, yeah, actually all the times when you're being creative, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, like this. Woohoo! check it out. Whoa, yum, doesn't that look tasty? Yum, and hey, watch this. I'm gonna do another big blob. Yeah, a blue. Oh, I will just finish that all the way across there. And then I'll put some orange on top of that. Wow. Now, does that look tasty? Or does that look tasty? Yum! <laughs> These are so tasty! Whoa! That has been so much fun making all these sweet treats with you, hasn't it? Yeah! I want to give a special thanks to Jennifer at Peony Bakery in Seattle, Washington. Wow, she did such a good job and they are so yummy! <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. And this place is where kids can come learn some circus skills. Yeah, I'm so excited. Woohoo, let's go. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout. Blippi! Hey, it's me, Blippi. And today I'm at Synapse Circus Center in Auburn, Washington. Whoa, look at this place. Wow, it is so colorful. And this place is where kids can come learn some circus skills. Oh, hey, who are you? I'm Coach Crystal, and I'm going to teach you some circus skills today. Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> the first thing you have to do is take off your shoes. OK, I got to take off my shoes. OK, here we go. One shoe, two shoe. All right, now that my shoes are off, now we get to learn. <laughs> Oh, check this place out. It's so cool. Looks like we have a lot of cool things over here. Oh, yeah, it looks like juggling balls. <laughs> we'll get to those later. Feathers? What are these doing here? That's <laughs> so silly. Whoa, look. 
looks like tight wires. I am so excited to balance on these later. Wow, a trampoline. These are so bouncy. I really want to jump on this, but I probably shouldn't until I warm up and stretch. Yeah. Whoa, look at this. Looks like a bar that you can hang on. Whoa. Oh, an aerial fabric. Wow, what color is this? Yeah, this is the color purple. Oh, and over here, another one. This is the color yellow. <laughs> okay, enough playing. Let's get warmed up so then we can stretch and have some fun. Oh, hey! Hi, Blippi, you ready to warm up? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, we're gonna run to the blue wall and then we're gonna run back to get our buddy all ready to go. Okay. Ready? Let's yeah. go! Check it out, I'm running! Whoa! All right, let's make our circle in the middle of the park. Okay. Arm circles backwards. To get our arms all ready to hang on the aerial fabric and the trapeze. Wow. All right, let's go forward now like you're swimming. Okay, check it out. I'm making big circles with my arms. All right, let's sit down in our butterfly. Put your toes together and make a butterfly. Oh, check it out. I'm flapping like a butterfly. Yeah, butterflies start as caterpillars. They go through metamorphosis and then they become beautiful butterflies! <laughs> okay, close your wings and squash them flat. We're gonna blast off to the moon. Grab those toes. Ready? Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Blast Whoa! Off. All right, we're gonna do it one more time. This time we're gonna start at three. Three, three two, two, one. one. Did you see how high she was jumping? Yeah! Whoa! And look at what she's doing! <laughs> it is so cool how kids can come here and learn circus skills! Whoa! Look at her! Whoa! She's using that aerial, aerial silk so good! Check it out! Wow! Look at this area! This is so cool. Do you see these big pieces of paper behind me? Yeah, they have things written on them. Yeah, like goals. And once you accomplish that, you get to write your name on the board. Let's check it out. Straddle up in the air. Whoa, that means all these people that wrote their names on here, yeah, they accomplished that. Like Neil, Alyssa, Jonah, Zoe. Wow, good job. Whoa, let's see what else. Um, wow, straight leg cartwheel. Whoa, that's hard. But look at all the people that did it. Whoa, that is so cool. Ooh, six club passing. Wow, now that is hard. Yeah, not one single person accomplished it. Whoa, that's crazy. Hmm, I have an idea. What if I pick one of these and try and accomplish it today? That sounds like so much fun. Um, oh, here we go. Stand up with no hands, forward roll. Oh, that seems fun. It's like a somersault, but then at the end, when you stand up, you can't use your hands. Yeah, I think I should try that. This is gonna be fun. Awesome! Oh, yeah! Whoa! Yeah! Okay, here we go. Now it's time to write my name. B L I P P I. Flippy! Wow, that was 
awesome. There are so many cool things. Whoa, what are these? Wow, kind of looks like a rainbow. Whoa, yeah, we have some purple. Whoa, purple rings. Whoa, check it out. Then we have some blue rings. We have some green rings. We have yellow. We have some reddish rings. They kind of look orange. Let's just say they're red. And we have some pink rings. Whoa, that is so cool. They're so colorful. Hey, what shape is this? Yeah, a ring is a circle. Check it out. <laughs> Whoa, maybe I can juggle with these. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> I dropped one. <laughs> That's funny. Check it out. You can even spin them on your arm. Whoa. What if I tried that with a lot of them? This is going to look so cool. Ready? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> That's fun. Check this out. This is called a pancake flip. You can practice by going like this. Yeah. Try and make it flip. And watch this. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> okay, let me put these back. Can't forget this one. Okay, now that those are organized and put back in their place, maybe we can use other things. Whoa. Like this. This looks like a peacock feather. Wow. Peacocks are so pretty. Huh. Have you ever seen a peacock before? Wow, yeah. They can spread their wings out and it looks so graceful. But today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this peacock feather and try and balance it. Okay, put it on my finger. Whoa, <laughs> check it out. Yeah, I'm balancing it. I'm trying not to drop it on the ground. Whoa, you can do it by standing in the same area or maybe I can do it while moving. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> whoa, check this out, ready? Let's try and put it on my nose. Whoa, whoa, I'm balancing it. Whoa, whoa, yeah, that's so silly. Wow, balancing is so much fun. What else do we have here? Oh, looks like we have some, oh, some rods and we have some plates. How many plates did I grab? Yeah. One, two, three plates. And what colors are these? Yeah. Blue, red, yeah, and yellow. <laughs> okay, let's take the blue one, which is one of my two favorite colors, and give it some spin. Whoa, there we go. Yeah, you see it spinning and balancing? Yeah, well hey, these plates are plastic. You definitely shouldn't try this at home with your plates at home. If they fall, they'll break. Whoa, yeah, these are circus plates. Whoa, spin, 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 ready? 
Whoa! I'll try that again. Whoa! Did you see that? Here we go. Oh, whoa! Oh. Okay, I won't try it again. <laughs> okay, let me put these back and see what else we have. Wow! Check these out. So many juggling balls. Yeah, you know me. I sure do like juggling, don't I? Yeah. Okay. Oh, they're so colorful. Check it out. That one reminds me of a bee. Yeah, bees are so great because they make honey. Yum, I love honey. Okay, looks like this is red and black and blue and white, green and black. Okay, I'm gonna pick three of these. How about uh, these three? <laughs> All right, ready? I'm gonna start on my knees and start to juggle. Whoa, juggling is so much fun. It's pretty tricky though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But with a lot of practice, you can do a lot of cool things. <laughs> yeah. All right, now watch this. I'm gonna juggle this many. Ready? Okay, this is gonna be really tricky. Here we go. <laughs> that was so silly. All right, I should probably pick these up. All right, let's see what else is over here. Whoa, check it out. Hula hoops. Yeah, I love hula hoops. Yeah, let's grab a few of these. All right, come on over here. Wow. I grabbed three hula hoops. Yeah. What colors are these hula hoops? Yeah. This one is orange, yellow, and red. Wow. <laughs> what a cool hula hoop. Yeah, and this one, yeah, is blue and a shiny silver. Whoa. <laughs> hey, what's your favorite color? Wow, that's a great color. My two favorite colors are blue and orange. And this one, yeah, is the color purple and the shiny silver sparkle. Yeah, let's use this one. All right. Gonna first try and spin it on my arm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah, wee, <laughs> woo, <-hoo. laughs> check this out. Yeah, all right, here we go. I have an idea. Now that they're on the ground, I think we should spread them out and try and hop through them. Yeah! All right. How about like a frog? Ribbit. Ribbit. <laughs> Ribbit. Ribbit. <laughs> yeah! Good job! so much fun learning all these circus skills. Yeah! Whoa! Check it out! Yeah! Remember this? This is the tight wire. Whoa! Yeah! And you and I are gonna try and balance on this. It looks really hard because how small it is. Whoa! <laughs> Alright, let's try this. <laughs> Alright, step right up here onto this platform and then you're gonna stand up so tall and walk through there. All right. I'm gonna be right here in case you fall. All right, perfect. Here I go. Whoa. 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 Oh, I fell. That's okay. I'll try it again.
Here we go. Whoa! I fell again! That was so much fun though. All right, let me try for a third time. Here we go. I got this. Whoa, check it out. I'm really doing it. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, I did it. Did you see that? Yeah, that was really hard. And it feels so good to accomplish something that was extra hard. Good job. <laughs> okay, first, I'm going to start with a roll. Here we go. Whoa! All right, now for the balancing. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa! <laughs> now for the arm walk. Here we go! Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> yeah! Wow! This has been so much fun! Yeah! But this is the end of this video. If you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. It's me, Flippy, and I have a really cool fire truck here. <laughs> it looks just like a real life fire truck with a hose and horns, honk, 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 <laughs> and some really big wheels and tires. <laughs> I think it would be so cool to be a real life firefighter. <laughs> yeah! Whoa, look at it. It's a real life firefighter pole. Woo! <laughs> hey, let's slide down to the bottom. Okay, let's do it on the count of three. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa, I'm a little bit dizzy after that. <laughs> oh, look at it. It's a firefighter. Hello. <laughs> I think it's a really important job to be a firefighter because they help save people's lives and put out fires with a really big water hose. <laughs> hey, look, that's another job you could be. You could be a pilot. Yeah, and fly really big airplanes. <laughs> hey. You could also be an engineer. Ooh, well, what does an engineer do? They're really good at math. Yeah, like adding up numbers and subtracting numbers. Ooh. And they plan all types of things so that other people can build them. <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> hey, what do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> Sounds really cool. I want to be that too. Uh, hey, I have a really cool idea. How about you and I go to this place where we can pretend to do all kinds of different jobs? Oh, that would be so exciting and fun. And then you can pick your favorite job. <laughs> okay, will you go with me today? <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's go. I'll see you there. <laughs> hey, we made it to Great Explorations Children's Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida. <laughs> yeah, and I am so excited to learn all about jobs. Let's go. Woohoo! <laughs> this is one of my favorite places. This is a pizza oven inside of a pizza restaurant. Ooh. One job that you can have when you grow up is to be a chef. Ooh. Chefs are so cool. <laughs> yeah, chefs are in charge 
of cooking all of the food at a restaurant. And I really like cooking pizza. Oh, 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 it's so tasty. Oh. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. How about you and I make a pizza together? <laughs> okay, here we go. First, we need one of these pizza paddles to put the pizza in the really hot oven because we don't want to touch it with our hands. Mm -mm. Okay, get that and we'll get a metal plate. Hmm. So first things first, we need to start with the pizza dough. <laughs> yeah, we'll get the pizza dough right here. Ooh. And sometimes when you get the pizza dough, it's crumpled up into a little ball. So you have to stretch it and sometimes spin it, whoa, <laughs> like this. And that helps to make it look like a circle. Yeah, look, it's a circle. <laughs> Good job. Okay, put the pizza dough down and now we get to put on some yummy toppings. <laughs> hey, do you have a favorite pizza topping? Uh, I like that one too. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we'll put on some tomato sauce. Oh, and my favorite cheese. <gasps> I love pizza with lots of cheese. <laughs> okay, we'll put the cheese there. And now we can put all the toppings. We have some spinach. Ooh, <laughs> so tasty. And we have black olives. Whoa. <laughs> and they're all sliced up. Yeah, put those there. We have, whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Do you know what these are? Yeah, these are mushrooms. We'll put these on too. We'll put on some onions. Ooh. <laughs> and then once you get your pizza made, then put it into the oven. And you'll wait. And it looks like our pizza is delicious <gasps> and all done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now we get to go put it in a box. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. You did a really good job making a pizza with me. And now it's my favorite part. <laughs> we get to eat the pizza. <gasps> mm, this pizza is really tasty. Mm -hmm. And that's because you helped me make it. Ah, <laughs> thanks so much. Wow, that was so cool learning about being a chef. And making a lot of yummy pizza. <laughs> yeah! Whoa! There are so many different types of animals. I love animals. Hey, do you have a favorite kind of animal? <laughs> yeah, I like that animal too. Whoa, look, we have some kitty cats. And we have, mm, this looks like a really big puppy dog. Hello, puppy dog. <laughs> it's so silly. Whoa, look. We have a really colorful parrot and a bunny rabbit. <laughs> yeah, let's go get a closer look. Come on. Whoa, look at this place. This place is a veterinarian's office. Yeah, a veterinarian or a vet. And that's a person that takes care of hurt or sick animals. <laughs> yeah, whoa, look. We have some really cute animals here. Hello. <laughs> ah, this is such a cute puppy, but we want to make sure that this puppy is okay. So the first thing you can do is take it to get an MRI. Yeah, an MRI. It's basically a scanner that uses magnets to take pictures of this puppy, but not pictures on the outside where it's smiling, <laughs> pictures of all the stuff inside, like its bones, to make sure they're not broken, and this puppy is doing really okay. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, puppy. Whoa, look at it. The MRI is showing the inside of this puppy's leg. Whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> well, this puppy seems to be pretty okay, but it looks like it hurt its leg, so we're gonna take care of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. The first thing we want to do is put a bandage on its leg. So I'll use some dots.
on, <laughs> we did it. We bandaged up this puppy. He's gonna be all better real soon. And the next thing we wanna do is give this puppy some medicine. Here you go, puppy. Puff, puff. Ooh. <laughs> He's happy and feeling better already. <laughs> yeah. And the last thing we wanna do is we wanna put this cone around its head because sometimes puppies get really playful and they take off their bandages. We don't want to take it off until he's all better. <laughs> he is so cute. <laughs> yeah. I love being a veterinarian. Being a vet with you was really fun because we got to learn about animals and take care of them if they get sick or hurt. <laughs> Whoa, this was awesome. what it is it's a fire truck <laughs> yeah whoa fire trucks are so cool and look at this it has really big wheels and tires whoa <laughs> and really bright headlights and a metal bumper <laughs> i bet it would be really fun to ride in one of these <laughs> come on <laughs> wow it is so much fun riding in a fire truck. And look up here. Yeah. This right here is the firefighter's siren. And it goes like this. Yeah. When a firefighter has to go and help people from a fire, they turn this on and they honk their horns. And that lets everyone know in the area that there's an emergency and they should move off the street. Yeah, so they can get there nice and quick and safely. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this. This is a very important part of a fire truck. This is the fire ladder and it's really helpful for helping firefighters get up to really high buildings to save people and to use their hose to put out the fires. <laughs> Oh, look, and these are the valves where you hook up the hose. But this is a really big fire hose. It's not like a regular hose you might have in your yard. <laughs> it's really, really, really powerful to push out the fires and make everyone safe. <laughs> yeah, come on. Whoa, look at this. This is the fire pole. Whoa, the fire pole is really helpful because in a firehouse, the firefighters, they live up on the second floor and the fire truck is on the first floor. So the pole helps them not have to take the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and do you see this? Yeah, this is a firefighter's uniform. It is so cool because it's fireproof. Yeah, if you or I were in a fire, that would be really dangerous because our clothes are flammable. They can catch on fire, but not a firefighter. They can go and save you because they're fireproof. Whoa, did you see the helmet? Yeah, look at this. This firefighter has a really cool yellow helmet and that protects their head from anything that might fall on it. Ooh, whoa, did you see this? <laughs> yeah, this is the really powerful fire hose. Whoa, this is so cool. There are so many different adjustment valves. And look, it's really, really big so that it can have a very powerful spray to put out all the fires. <laughs> yeah. Wow, maybe one day you and I can be firefighters too. We can help save people. But to be a firefighter, you have to be really, really brave. Yeah, brave. Hey, do you know what being brave means? Yeah, when you're brave, that means you might be scared of something, but you do it anyway, because you're gonna help help people and keep them safe. <laughs> well, I really wanna do a job that will help people too. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, look at where we are. Yeah, a job that you can do when you grow up is being a nurse. <laughs> yeah. Being a nurse is a really great job because you help take care of others and make sure they get better when they might be sick. <laughs> Let's go see everything that a nurse does. Yeah.
Whoa! Look at this! Did you see it? This right here is a skeleton! Whoa! <laughs> there are so many bones! Yeah, bones! Do you know what a bone is? Yeah! These are different types of bones. And a bone is what helps make you up. Yeah, helps you stand nice and tall. Ooh, yeah, it's right under your skin. Bones are really important, and it's important to take care of your bones. Well, it's really good to learn about bones because if you ever break a bone, you can go to a nurse and they can help you. Come on. <sighs> Look at this box. It's really bright. Ah! <laughs> This will help us look at different kinds of x-rays. Yeah. Whoa, this right here, this is an x-ray. And it kind of just looks like a dark sheet. <laughs> but it actually is a picture of the inside of your hand. So when you put it up here, you can read the x-ray. Yeah. You can see all the different bones inside your hand. Whoa. And this is really helpful to take a picture, an x-ray of your hand, because if you break a bone, the nurse can say, hmm, you broke this bone and now we can fix it. Okay. <laughs> wow, x-rays and nurses are pretty amazing. Whoa, and look at this over here. Another thing you do when you go see a nurse is you see how tall you are. Whoa, look, I'm five feet and 11 inches tall. That's pretty tall. <laughs> hey, do you know how tall you are? Whoa, <laughs> that's pretty tall too. And I bet when you grow up, you'll be even taller. Maybe five foot 11 or six foot or six foot one inch or seven feet tall. Whoa, that's really tall. <laughs> Being a nurse is an amazing job. Maybe one day I'll be a nurse when I grow up and I can help make people feel better. <laughs> yeah! Well, this was really exciting. Hey, I'll see you in just one second. Woo! Hey! <laughs> Whoa! That was so much fun learning about all those different types of jobs. <laughs> there were a lot of them. Whoa! <laughs> hey, which one was your favorite job? <laughs> yeah, I like that one a lot too. It was really fun doing that with you. <laughs> Whoa, look at this over here. Come on. Whoa, <laughs> do you see what it says? Curiosity Corner. Whoa, that means it's time for the Curiosity Corner, where you and I get to learn all types of things. <laughs> hmm, but I wonder what we're gonna learn today. I guess you and I are just gonna have to find out. I'm so excited. Let's go! <laughs> hey! Welcome to the Curiosity Corner, where we get to paint a really beautiful picture together. <laughs> and it looks like we have everything we need. We have our paints. Ooh! <laughs> Look! We have three different colors. Blue, yellow, and red. <laughs> These colors are really important because they're primary colors. And primary colors are used to mix, get mixed up and make every other color in the rainbow. So we're gonna use these to paint a beautiful picture. Well, we're gonna need our palette with paints and a paintbrush. Okay, so let's wet our brush first. Then we get the paint. Okay, so first we wanna make a really cool orange because it's my favorite fruit and favorite color. So we'll start with some yellow. Whoa, <laughs> it's so fun to mix up the paints. We're gonna make a circle. <laughs> Whoa, look, we made a yellow circle, but it's not quite the right color. So now we're gonna add another primary color, red. Just a little bit of red a little bit of water and then you can mix it up to make an orange. Whoa, look at how pretty that color is. It has little bits of red 
and little bits of yellow and a lot of bit of orange. <laughs> Whoa! That was so much fun learning about colors with you and painting a really pretty picture. It's time for me to go wash out my brush. <laughs> Looks like we got some traffic here. <laughs> Whoa! That was so much fun learning about all those different kinds of jobs with you. <laughs> Whoa, there were so many different kinds. <laughs> well, even if you didn't pick your favorite today, that's okay. You have all the time in the world. <laughs> Just keep on exploring and being curious and I'm sure you'll find what you will want to do when you grow up. <laughs> well, I'm having a lot of fun with these trucks. This fire truck and recycling truck. Whoa, and this construction vehicle with an excavator arm. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Hello. Hey, it's me, Flippy. Yeah, today we're at Boulder Bend Glassworks in Leavenworth, Washington. Whoa, and look at all these. Wow, these are glass sculptures. Whoa, they're very delicate. Wow, so I'm going to be nice and gentle. Whoa, check that out. Yeah, you can put all sorts of things right here. <laughs> Whoa, wow, look how brightly colored this is. Whoa, I am so curious how they made this here. Yeah. All of these are handmade. Here, yeah, handmade. These aren't made with machines or anything like that. Every single one of these is turned or blown. Yeah, and they're made by two people right here. <laughs> okay, here we go. Come on. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Look at this. Looks like a blue and white plate. <laughs> I could put tons of food on here and eat it all up. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> or you can use it for decoration. Wow, this is so cool. Wow, look at this. <laughs> blue and orange, my two favorite colors. Wow, glass is so cool because look at how hard it is. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> but when you heat it up really hot, yeah, it kind of turns into like a liquid, kind of like honey. <laughs> I love honey. <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. Wow, there's so many cool machines in here and tools. Hey, come check it out. Whoa. Look at all these. <laughs> they kind of look like scissors. <laughs> but they're used for the glass. Yeah, we'll look into these a little bit later. <laughs> but for now, come check this out. Wow, look at all these colors. These are actually big pieces of glass. Wow, what color is this? Yeah, it's bright red. Do you hear them? Listen. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we got some red, some orange, some yellow, some green, some turquoise right in here, and teal. And we got some blue. And looks like we have some purple. <laughs> Can't forget about white. That is so cool. I am so excited to see what we make with glass today. Wow. Look at all 
look at all these glass rods. Whoa, so cool. <laughs> they have colors on the inside. Whoa, okay. <laughs> okay, let's see what they have here. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this is a nice bed. This is where you roll a metal rod and the glass is on the end. We have a nice little, uh, looks like a little metal paddle. <laughs> you can flatten out the glass. Ooh, some big tweezers. <laughs> wow. We have some diamond shears. Each one of these tools has a different use for the glass. Oh, look way down here. A big paddle. Oh, and it looks like some glass actually made it turn black a little bit burnt over time. That is so cool. Okay, here we go. Hey, and this is a fluffy, yeah, kind of like a torch. Yeah, has some nice flame coming out. Whoa. Oh, hey, look. I kind of like bowls. Whoa, so cool. <laughs> I bet you put the glass in there. Okay, let's go explore. Whoa, look at this. Yeah, this is an oven. This is where you put in the glass and then it heats it up. Yeah, it's really hot in there, so I'm definitely not gonna touch that. Oh, it's nice and warm though. Whoa, look at all these. Little pieces of glass. Wow, they're so colorful. Whoa! Yellow, blue, orange and yellow, purple. Oh, and you can't forget about my two favorite colors, blue and orange. <laughs> that is so cool. Whoa, look at this station. This looks like the safety station. And you know me, I love safety. Check it out. Look at these big mittens. <laughs> so then you can hold a nice hot glass and then it won't burn you. Whoa. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Whoa. And down here. Whoa. Looks like we have a helmet. How do I look? <laughs> do I look silly? <laughs> wow, I love protective gear. That yeah, keeps you nice and safe. Oh, another oven. This is where you put the finished glass to cool down nice and slow. Whoa, and another oven. But this oven is really, really hot. This is where all the clear glass is. Yeah, and it is basically like a liquid in there. Oh, whoa, check it out. This is a torch, another hot area that I am definitely not gonna touch. Wow, <laughs> there's so many cool things around here, but you have to be very, very careful. Hey, look, yeah, look at these pipes. Some of the pipes have holes in them. Do you see that? Yeah, that's where the glass blower blows into this pipe. And on the other end, that's where the glass is. And then the air expands it, kind of like when you blow a bubble. With bubble gum. <laughs> yeah, this is a section of pipes. Check it out. These are used and they are very cold. And that's why I I'm able to handle these. Yeah, <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> yeah! Whoa! <laughs> so cool! Whoa! What are they doing? Whoa! Hey, who are you two? I'm Craig. I'm Dory. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. What are you doing? We are blowing glass. We're making hearts. We like to make hearts a lot. Whoa! They're blowing glass and making hearts. Do you mind showing us a little bit more? We would love to show you. Awesome. <laughs>
What are you doing? I'm making that beautiful heart shape. Oh, those kind of look like tweezers. <laughs> You see what she's making? Yeah, it's a heart. Yeah, a symbol of love. Why are you two putting it in there? We put it in here so that it cools slowly. If it cools too fast, it'll crack. So it stays in here all day long at 920 degrees and that it cools down over a two day period after that. Wow, that's so cool. I'm so excited for it to cool down so we can see this heart. <laughs> Did you see that? That was so cool how they made that heart. <laughs> now I get to make a heart. But the first thing I need to do is wear my safety glasses. Yeah! Whoa! How do I look? Woo! <laughs> yeah! Now I'm ready. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Whoa! First, I need to roll it. Yeah. Oh, that's really fun. All right. There we go. <laughs> this is so much fun. Whoa. All right, now we're heating it up. I chose blue and orange, my two favorite colors. <laughs> yeah. What are your favorite colors? or color. Wow, what a great color. <laughs> you see how I'm spinning it? Yeah, it's because gravity pulls the glass down. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, it is very hot. Okay, now roll it. Whoa. Oh. 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 Okay. Just keep going. And then now you can, and then you can stop. Okay. You can let it cool now. Okay. We have to. It was moving a lot, right? Yeah. So let it cool down so that when you cover it with more hot glass, that it doesn't lose control and drip off into the tank of glass. Oh, okay. So now it's cooling down a little bit. Wow. That was very good. Thank you. Hey. Whoa. This is fun. <laughs> wow. It's so cool how glass is really hard when it's cold. But when you heat it up to really hot temperatures, yeah, it turns into a honey-like consistency. <laughs> I love honey, but I definitely do not want to eat this glass. Or honey, that would burn us. Wow. Whoa, do you see what she's doing? She's using that spoon looking device to roll it in and look at how smooth and circular it looks. 
Wow. <laughs> Little more heat. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> okay. It's ready. Whoa. Whoa. All right. The first thing we have to do is tap it. But I need to keep rolling it. Here we go. Is it ready? All right. <laughs> Whoa. Look at that. <laughs> I'll do a little bit more shaping. Can you tell that it's a heart? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to give it a little bit more heat. And then we'll do the last bit of shaping. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do the last bit of shaping. And then from there, whoa. Okay, how's that? That looks really good. And then let's give this point just a little bit more of a tug. Perfect. And then how about right there? Wow. Little bit more of a crease. Try and center it out. <laughs> Not really. Well, that's okay. <laughs> Perfect. All right. How does that look? That looks very good. Okay. Well yep. Great. Whoa. Wow. That was so much fun. Now they're going to do the finishing touches and then they're going to pull it off of the metal rod. Now we're keeping that back truck point because we just broke the glass, right? So we're heating it up, working that in, and then we're going to put a stamp on it. at Boulder Bend Glassworks with you today, huh? Did you have fun? Yeah! Hey, let's check out what we made. Yeah, they made this really cool pendant. Whoa! Yeah, remember how they blew it and made it big and it expanded? Whoa! Look at that! Whoa! That is so pretty! <laughs> And then they made this bluish and whitish bowl. Wow, you could put so many goodies in there. Whoa, they do such great work. Wow, and then they made a heart. Yeah, they used yellow and orange. Whoa, yeah, yep. <laughs> that is so cool. And then I got to make a heart. Yeah, do you remember my two colors that I used? Yeah, blue and orange. Whoa, <laughs> here it is. Wow, we did such a good job making this heart. Whoa, <laughs> that was so cool. It is so cool that when these cooled down, yeah, they became really hard yeah and then 
when they were really hot. Yeah, it was like a liquid. Whoa! Yeah, kind of like honey. <laughs> but not honey. It's glass. <laughs> All right. Well, I should probably get going now. <laughs> but this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Flippy. Good job. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippy. Whoa, and look at where we're at. Whoa, what a cool store. Hey, wait a second. We're at Allegro Performing Arts Academy in Kent, Washington. Yeah, do you know how I like to dance? Whoa, yeah. Wow, this place is where you can come and dance in one of their studios and you can even maybe take a dance lesson. Woohoo! <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. Let's go! Oh, hey! Hello! Who are you? My name is Emily. Ooh. Who are you? I'm Blippi. I'm here for the class. Awesome! Sounds like so much fun. Yeah, what should I do? So, you can go ahead and go back into the studio and I'm gonna be able to teach you a dance class today. Okay. So okay. go ahead and start stretching. Okay, let's go stretch and get warmed up. Let's go! Check it out. This is a dance studio. This is where you and I are gonna learn our dance from Emily. Whoa, check it out. There's some nice smooth floor. Yeah, it's really shiny. <laughs> Whoa, 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 look at this. This, yeah, this looks like a mirror. Whoa, hello, hey. <laughs> Yeah, dance studios have mirrors right in front of you, so then you can practice your dance moves. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Wow! <laughs> and see how you did. I definitely nailed that one. <laughs> okay, remember what Emily said? Yeah, we need to stretch and we need to warm up before she comes in to teach us our dance lesson. Okay, first things first, I need to take off my shoes. Okay, let's put them right over here. Now we need to stretch. Yeah, we need to stretch our muscles really far and wide. So we do not injure ourselves. So first, let's stretch down. See how I'm stretching? Oh, I can almost touch my toes. <laughs> Now, we need to warm up, she said. Yeah, that means we need to get our body moving in some way or another. I mean, you could jog if you want. Yeah, you could jog. You can do some squats. <laughs> wow, or you can just do some sweet dance moves to warm up. Yeah, that's what I like to do. Oh, hey Emily! Yeah, I love learning and I love dancing! <laughs> sure! Awesome! Would you like to see it first? Yeah! Okay, she'll show me the dance first and then I'll learn it! Whoa, that looks really hard. But I think I'm up for it. Will you teach me? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> All right, so how we're gonna start is we're gonna start really close to the floor. So you wanna make a ball pose. You wanna get really close into your knees, right? Okay. Yes, from here you're gonna hold four counts. So you're gonna count in your head. One, two, three, four. Then you're gonna make a big star pose, jump your legs out, reach your arms way up to the sky. And you hold this for four counts, and we're gonna count it 
five, six, seven, eight. Then from here, you're going to shake your hips side to side with big arms, starting to the right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, now we're gonna learn what's called a grapevine. Yes? Ooh, okay, yeah. I don't see any grapes though. <laughs> Silly goose, it's a dance move. So oh, you're gonna okay. start with your hands on your hips. You're gonna step out with the right foot. You step out to the side. You cross this next foot behind, your left foot behind. Then you step out again. Then you're gonna jump together and clap on count four. <laughs> and then you're gonna step out to the side on the left. Step out to the side. Cross that right leg behind. Step the left foot out. Out, jump, clap together. Good. Okay. Then from here, we're gonna make strong arms down at our sides. You're gonna step, touch side to side. So you step out with the right foot, out, then step together with that left foot. Together. Step with the left foot out, right foot together. Step right foot out, left foot together. Good. Step left foot out, right foot together. Now, last thing we need to learn. You're gonna step out with your feet, hands are gonna go into your knees. You're gonna bounce two times. Ready, you bounce. One, two, then you do two claps. Clap, clap. But it has to stay at the same tempo as the music. Okay. <laughs> yes. So you bounce. One, two, clap. Now make sure your feet are nice and wide apart because we want to be confident when we dance, right? Oh, okay, yeah, confidence. Absolutely. So we always want to make sure we have nice wide feet. Close feet, not so much. You want nice wide feet. So you do okay. want to try every single move nice and slow all together. Okay. All right. Now remember, we have to count in our head to eight. Okay. Was that it? That was it. Wow. That was it. I just learned the full dance, and I think I'm ready. Am I ready? I think we're ready. Okay, awesome. let's hit that music. One, two, three, four, big. Shake your hips. Great. job and good job to you. Thank you so much, Flippy. Yeah, well, thank you for teaching me and them how to dance. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, check this out. Emily's doing another dance. Come on. Whoa! This style of dancing is called jazz! It looks like so much fun! <laughs> you know jazz? Yeah! It's a type of music! <laughs> Check it out! Do you see what Emily's doing now? Yeah, she's doing ballet. <laughs> and she's actually using the ballet bar. Check it out. That is so cool, and this type of dancing is so elegant. Wow. Whoa! I have been having so much fun dancing. 
seen today. Woo! <laughs> what? 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 Ah! <laughs> Do you like dancing? Yeah, I like dancing because it's a great way to get out your energy and exercise. Yeah, I love being healthy. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't I teach you a dance so then you and I can dance together? Would that be fun? Yeah! Okay, the first thing about dancing is what's called rhythm. Yeah, every song has rhythm. It's basically the beat. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna clap my hands and then you clap your hands with me at the same time, okay? Ready? Good job! Yeah! Do you feel this? Yeah! This is rhythm! <laughs> yeah! We did it! Good job! Okay, so now I'm gonna do that again, but now we're gonna want to move our legs to the rhythm, okay? Ready? Here we go! Here we go. We got it. Double time. <laughs> Good job. Okay, now that we understand rhythm and beats, now we can learn the parts of the dance, okay? First thing, yeah, you see this up there? Yeah, what machine is that? Yeah, that is a bulldozer. So we're gonna dance as if we're bulldozers. First, you need to put your hands up like it's the blade of the bulldozer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then you need to move your legs and dance like a bulldozer. Yeah, there we go. We're totally like bulldozers. <laughs> I love bulldozers. Whoa. <laughs> okay, all right, so that's gonna be the first dance move. And then the second dance move, yeah, we're gonna act like kangaroos. Yeah, do you know what a kangaroo is? Yeah, whoa, <laughs> such cool animals. <laughs> okay, the cool thing about kangaroos is how high they can jump, all right. Put your hands like this, and then jump really high. Whoa! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, I bet you can do that one really good at home. <laughs> okay, now the third dance move we're gonna do is, yeah, that's a dinosaur, isn't it? What kind of dinosaur is that? Yeah, a T-Rex, good job. Okay, so the funny thing about T-Rexes are they have short little hands, yeah, like that. <laughs> but they're actually really fierce, so you have to act fierce. <laughs> okay, but now we need to put that all into rhythm and a beat. Yeah, and then you act like a T-Rex. Ra, 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 ra. <laughs> okay, those are the three dance moves. But now, remember, we need a rhythm and a beat. So, hit it, DJ. Remember the first one? Yep, bulldozer dance. Good job. <laughs> Plow the dirt. Wow, that was really good. I'm really proud of you. 
That was such a good bulldozer dance. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go into the second dance move. Remember it? It was an animal, and it jumps really high. Yeah, a kangaroo. Ready? Kangaroos are so cool. They can jump so high. Woo! All right, shake it off. Okay, now for the third dance move, the T-Rex. Ready? Rah! 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 Rah, rah, rah. Oh, oh, I am so tired. Did you see that? Yeah, that was so much fun doing all those sweet dances today at Allegro Performing Arts Academy in Kent, Washington. Wow, <laughs> I sure do love the dance. Hey. If you're around this area, you can come and do the very same creative movement class that I did today. Wow, that was so much fun. Or, yeah, I'm sure you have a local performing art studio where you can learn to dance. Yeah, there's a lot of cool dances you can do, like jazz and tap and ballet. Whoa, even acro. <laughs> That sounds like so much fun. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi, good job. All right, I'm gonna go and take a nap now at home. I am so tired. <sighs>